Hello, people. My name is Meatloaf Man, and I am officially back. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, Animatronic made a FNAF fan game called Mechanism. Great YouTuber, you should check her out. And I've, and I'm gonna play it. But here's the thing. I already played it. So why am I playing it again? Why am I restarting? Well, I went to check my recording and the mic couldn't catch for some reason. So, but I only got up to level nine. So some of this stuff you'll see me do is new. So, and the, and my mic quality may be worse, but that is because like I just said, I can't use this microphone, instead I have to use the built-in computer one. So, let's just get back into mechanism. So, like I said, I already know how to play this. So it makes it a bit worse. But yeah, so those are JJ's, you have to collect these for points. You have to co collect a bunch of random things, and there's Chica, those are JJ's, if you trust them they'll attack you, but you can press shift to launch a gear, but here's the thing, you have to strategize, because gears are also your lives, and, and, and the gears, um, so, you attack with the gears, but you also use the lives for the gears. And, if you attack the night guard, you play as the animatronic, so if you attack the night guard, you win. And scattered across you can also find gears and batteries because that battery meter is your timer if the timer runs out then you die and basically your goal use gears as little as possible um i think those jump scares are unique and i like the actually wait these are new enemies they are little bra boys and here's a little thing for you um you can see purple guy running around here you have to avoid him as much as possible because he is op he is fast he could kill you so you have to avoid william mr williams here but this is just another guy I think that's supposed to be Balloon Boy, but to me it kind of looks like Brow Boy from FNAF World. And there's JJ walking up and down. Now the difference, JJ takes one hit to kill, while those Brow Boys take three hits to kill. And you could use Shift to open a lot of things. Like, if you open this, there's a cupcake inside here that gives you points. But, yeah. Now, for my thoughts on this game, this game is pretty damn good. I like it. Oh, those are enemies. I don't know what they are, but they're like little dolls. I call them little, little, little sallies. <sighs> she turned back quick. Now, they could turn up, down, left, right at any time, and they're also fast. I hate them. They suck. But they're not as bad as the worst enemy, which we will get to. Like here, here's a gear. You collect that. That's really another hit. And those switches that you press could open these doors. Which, as you could see, the night guard's here. You could kill him. Now, for my thoughts on this game, it's good. I like the music, it gives a Pop Goes Arcade style. And Andy Matronic did a really good job making this, especially because this is her first game. That's really good. I said Yami Mash played it, and he said it's really, really good. So, um, the art style, I love. The, the music gives out Pop Goes Arcade vibes to me, too. Like, listen to the music. The music is vibing. Here we run into the worst enemy. Purple guy. Run for your life if you see him. He, when you find him, here's the thing, he takes the most amount of hits to kill, and when you find him, he does not stop chasing you. He chases you for the rest of the thing until 
either you kill him or you lose him. Like here, I I just lost him. And there's the night guard. Now level five complete. I know everything and I know how to complete the first eight levels. Here's some balloons, which gave you points. And you could go in here, there's bathroom. Some places lead to vent systems. And this place could lead to a vent, which also leads to a dark maze. Which you could traverse, and come here. Which then you could find Mr. Night Guard hiding under the table. I love how they're all doing certain things, this guy's hiding from the- Hiding under the table. You run from JJ. And then here you go down. And... Make your way... Here. To be speedy with that one. It's tight. But here, you kill the night guard. And this game is hard, because if you die once, then you go all the way to the beginning. But that's fine, because now we're in level 8, which level 8 is pretty difficult. But here, level 8. And you could make your way here. And here we have little vannies. That gives us life. But here's the problem. We can't go in there. Because we have to flip a switch. Which is like way down here. And see our gears are low? Yeah, that's not good. And I actually think I just screwed myself over. Did I? No, I didn't. I didn't. Shoot. Um, I think I just screwed myself over. Run. This Vanny sucks. Vanny is like William. She chases you. Now that this is open... You could. You can now move her. You could out now maneuver around the vannies, and now you're done with the level. And kill the night guard. See, my timer almost ran out there with the meter. Timer almost ran out. You don't want the timer to run out because then you automatically die. Now for this level, level nine. I don't know anything about it. And now withered. And now Freddy is withered Freddy. Yeah. I don't know what to do here. And we only have a matter of time. Quite literally. There's a little Sally. Oh, there's purple guy. There's purple guy. Run. Damn it. Run. Run. Purple guy will chase you, and keep chasing you, and keep chasing you as you can see. But now we're in here, this room has like, little kitties. <laughs> and I just died. Yep. Purple guy sucks. I tell you the worst part. I think I just crashed the game. For some reason, if you die on level 9, it freezes. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. 
let me just set this to mechanism. Oh my god. This is not good. It's too big. And now for some reason mechanism is full screen? I think this is why this is like this. I will, I'll try game capture. There you go. Mechanism. Alright, now you can see the whole game again. And now I'm not self-locked. So, now, I'm sorry if sometimes I don't talk. First of all, this game is hard. Second, uh, this is kind of a puzzle, so you have to know what to do. And I may not be talking a bit about the room too much, analyzing, exploring, because I'm on a timer here. When I beat the game, I'll go back to it and analyze every single room. Try to figure out the lore, maybe. If there is any lore. I, I doubt Andy would do that to us. <laughs> like, I definitely doubt Andy would pull lore on us. Right? 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 He wouldn't pull lore on us, right? Well, hopefully, but I, I don't know myself. How would I know? Back to level three. To traverse this. And I just lost a gear, great. Yes, best thing ever, I love that. I don't know. You have to use your gears wisely, you have to strategize. That's why this this game is fun. It's it's kind of like a strategy maze. That you're also on a timer, so it makes it hard. And I love difficulty. I, I like Zelda, which... Especially the dungeons, I like Zelda dungeons. Especially, like, Link to the Past style. And those are mazes. Kind of, kind of like mazes, they're like room-based. That also has have puzzles. Which is exactly what this is. I'm not trying to say that this is meant to be a Zelda dungeon, but it's but this game is really fun. That's what I'm trying to say. And here, yeah, space is to click these switches. Uh just in case you can figure out the controls. It took me a while. Um And usually the switches are hidden. Usually little collectibles in this game are kinda hidden. And I hate those guys, and I can't kill them because I have to, because I have to use my gears wisely. And she's not chasing me for once. Usually she, usually she would chase me. But guess what? Got him. Now apparently, according to Andy, I saw her video, and she said an item is important. And apparently, that is a secret life in level nine. And she said it's in the play area. Which I haven't found. So, do you know what I have to do? If you guessed that I have to find that secret life, then you would be correct. But right now, we have to focus on escaping William. Sir Williams. Damage boost him. It's better to damage boost him, which takes one gear, than kill him, which takes three gears. And at the cost of William going like boom. Which William, I think, does like two damage. I haven't paid attention, but probably because William could kill me quickly. Just in case I haven't said already, gear management equals importance. I'm not gonna go there yet. I'm uh, trying to find a gear. All right. Um. All right. Now I'm gonna go. Um. I don't want to use a gear to get that guy. 
Because the max you could have is two gears. Or the not the max, the minimum you could have is two gears. Because when you have one gear, since it's also a life, uh, the gear just refills. And don't think this is just like a one path thing. There are secret places in this. There are secrets. There are mm -mm, secret spots in this game. So, if you could go way down here. Well, you just can't go in the middle. You could go from any place, but over here. Since it's blocked off by Rockstar Chica's worst fear. Ah, wet floor signs. Here's what I'm wondering. Can you come back here? You can't. My good. I really like this jump scare. I saw Animatronics video, and she actually acted it out, then traced it on the computer. That's good. I like that. I like you, Kaji. Now for this one, I've learned my lesson. Don't go straight to Vanny, because you have to open it. Because you have to open the door. Open the door. In order to actually, you know, be able to breathe. But here's what I'm thinking. Go down. Is there a gear here? Oh, here's the puppet. The poopit. As Lewis Dawkins likes to say. Can't go over it. You can't go under it. So. Go Juke Vanny. Then you. Oh, you could go. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, I could have Juke Vanny that way. Great, I just wasted a gear to get a gear. I gained nothing! Woo! Night 8 complete. Now time for night 9. Like I said, this place apparently is a secret life. Like your wife. So... I actually think I know where that. So it says it's in the play area. And I haven't actually tried going up here yet. Can you go up here? Can! Mr. Withered Freddy. Now what's in here? I see the switch. And... Let's see... What could I do here? Uh, no, I don't want the time to run out, so let me just check every every edge. Oh! Oh! Hey! I got it! Nice. Oh, those are the Glamrock animatronics! Freddy, Monty, Chica, and Roxy! That's cool! Oh shoot, one of those ghost guys are there. But it's okay, cause I can now beat the level. Even though I have, like, no battery, I can now beat the level. Run from William, run from William. Yes, we ran from William. Bonus night! What? Oh! Oh, I have no timer, I could explore! Is this like a checkpoint or something? I think this is a checkpoint. Oh, wait, is that Golden Freddy? Golden Freddy. Look at Freddy. He has no arms now. Because now he's withered. He's withered Freddy now. Uh. Alright, great. Oh! How's this bonus? We had Fred and Spring Bonnie, that's already creepy. Now we have another withered Freddy with blood on it. How is this considered bonus? What the hell? Um, I think I might want to get away. Bro, I'm trapped. <gasps> I'm trapped! Um, is this... Alright. What am I doing here? 
Exactly what I've meant for you. Oh, this is FNAF 2 now. This is FNAF 2. So great, now back to... Hell. Alright, running away from JJ's. That's... that's... It's basic stuff. What's in here? Is this gonna be Afton? That's Afton. I am out of there. That is definitely where Afton is. I'm not gonna deal with Afton. Sin... Sin City wasn't made for you. Here's the night guard. Nice! Night 11 complete. Hey, Toy Bonnie. I wonder if we're gonna be able to play as Toy Freddy since we're done with FNAF 1. Oh, do you know what I think? I think there's gonna be bonus, then it's gonna switch. And it's gonna constantly switch games. You know what I think? Here's gonna be something like important. Oh, I just realized, I think the timer's getting shorter. But it doesn't matter, because we found the night guard. Mangle! Oh, we're in Kid's Cove now. That makes sense. Oh my god, more vannies. Damn it! Extra credit used. Go, go, go. It's Chica. Okay. Is, is this Afton? Nope, this is Night Guard. Let's go. Let's go! There's a total destruction. Okay. This is... What if we could make our way over here? Oh, what? Oh, now Afton has the Spring Bonnie thing on. Now he's Spring Trap. Oh, but he's... Nope, never mind. He's following us. I was just about to say he's not following us. But he is still following us. Definitely following us. Oh, he's on our tail. He's literally right next to us. Run away from Afton. I have one life left. Go! Great. Now we're, now we're spring trapped. Ah, ah. Alright. I'll be right back yet again. Uh, okay. Back to basics. Mr. Beast! Alright. Yeah, this one's the, the one where you just... Go full out speed over. Oh, this one has the bannies. What the hell is that? Yeah, I don't want to know. Run! Run from Vanny. That is a lesson I learned from. from. Faz. uh, fun Faz facts. Uh, by a dread unit. It went from hand unit to tutorial unit to the guy hosting the Freddy Fazbear's virtual experience to what's his name? Dread unit. Now it's now it's Mr. Beat. Ah. 
How did we get here? How did we end up situating with Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast? Oh! Wait a sec. Oh! That's, that is big brain. And then you get. Mmm! Then we have a key! And then we could go back to that little cabinet area? Question mark? Maybe we could go back there? No, this is where Afton is. No. No, this isn't the place with Afton. Mr. Ashton. We go in here. Yup. Yeah, this, this is what I know. No. Die. What happens? You go up here. Abracadabra. Oh, this is the first time where I actually got to one gear. Alright, alright. This is progress. There's a hole here. So you could fall through. There you go. Dude. What's that over there? That's not for now. It's a trap. Mr. Beast! There you go. Alright, night 15. I don't know anything about this. I just built like Pizza Tower. Do 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 do. Is that Freddy? Is that Freddy Fastballs? Oh, oh, oh. He came out of the time traveling ball pit. Get away from me, Mr. Afton. Get away from me. He got away from me. Run for my precious life. Run, run. Pac-Man, come on, yeah. Pac-Man style. Is he here? Run. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Okay, Foxy, go, go, go. Now I have two maniacs chasing me. No! Oh my god! No! What are those? Over here.
<sighs> this is a, a literal nightmare. Level 15 is a nightmare because I don't know what to do. There's that one place that I haven't really explored. But you know, first I'm gonna do this area. Wait, why would this area matter? If I just use a gear to get here anyway. I just realized this place is a waste of time. Wait, is there two gears here? There are two gears. Alright. Worried about the timer for for once now. Timer's kind of dangerous now. I'm pretty sure in those other rooms are after. So if I remember, <gasps> found him! Found him! Yeah! All right. Level 16. Oh, bonus night. I have to follow this guy. Which one's... What is going on? What is going on? What the hell? This happened. This is getting slowly weirder as it goes on. Alright. I don't know where Afton is. So this could be the most dangerous thing. Now I know where the night guard is, but I don't know where the switch is. No, that's probably where Afton is. Alright, yep. It's over there. I think I have an idea of where it is, too. It's okay. It has to be up here. It has to be in the bathroom. Where is it? I'm generally con I'm genuinely confused. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm gonna go all the way back there. This is getting annoying.
This night is really weird. Going to the bottom this time. What the hell? Oh, it's spring trap. Okay. Alright, next night. This is Vanny, right? I don't get what's going on right now. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright. Thankfully, I've extra, I've extra credit. Oh wait, she was attacking me the whole time?! Like invincible? What is with Vanny? Why can't I attack Vanny? You gonna drop something? No. Screw it. I'm gonna stop for now, we'll do this later. Uh, alright, well, that's enough of mechanism. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, perhaps. Because I do not know how to kill Vanny for some reason. I just can't kill Vanny. I don't know why. I don't know if they take like two hits, but I can't kill Vanny. I don't, and. Hopefully I learned something from that. Hopefully I need I need more gears, but I don't know. So I'm gonna have to finish this in another video. Swag out.